Tree Bridges. The wandering tribe that firstly deliberately made a tree fall across a stream were the first man-made bridge builders. We can say this is during prehistoric times as there is not much evidence as to how far back tree bridges go in history, but any estimate would be around 15,000 BC. This is a simple beam structured bridge and was incidentally created when a tree fell across a stream. This allowed wanderers to pass by. Overall, the creation of this bridge has, for many many years, assisted people and groups to cross streams, mainly for animals or shelter. Stone Bridges The stone bridge seems to have started existing in 1300 BC in Greece. These bridges are normally in a semicircle shape. The stone bridges are very strong in compression, but cannot resist much force in tension. The more weight that is put on the stone bridges, over time it will become stronger. Stone bridges are regularly used for human transportation and food and water transportation. As they are stable, they have the capacity to carry light vehicles. This is quite a major advancement from tree bridges, as they can be unstable and potentially too narrow. Stone bridges are stronger and will last longer, and have a better use for society as they can handle vehicles safely. Timber bridges. A timber bridge is one of the first forms of bridges and has been used since ancient history. It uses timber or wood as its principal structural material. The oldest examples come from Switzerland and date back to 1523 BC, but the assumption is that the first timber bridge could have been built around 15,000 BC, but it is unclear. Timber bridges can carry relatively low traffic loads. The sophistication and use of timber bridges increased in response to the growing need for public works and transportation systems. The world's first iron bridge was made in England, crossing the river Severn. It was completed in 1779 and opened to traffic in 1781. Until 1840, the construction material used was either cast iron or wrought iron, or sometimes both. It is a strong and durable bridge and can hold up heavy vehicles. The intended use of it is to support the transportation of goods across rivers and cut down traffic. Steel bridges. During the late 1800s, steel bridges began to replace raw iron bridges. In the early 1900s, iron was no longer available and steel makers began producing carbon steel, which was much more reliable. Steel bridges were made in the 1930s for the needs of the British military in a remote environment. The intended use of steel bridges is for carrying heavy vehicles and often carrying railways. Usually they span short distances. As these bridges were more reliable than iron bridges, countries had to spend less money fixing problems with bridges. Suspension bridges. The first modern day suspension bridges were built in the 19th century. However, earliest versions of suspension bridges were built in the 15th century. This type of bridge has cables suspended between towers with vertical suspender cables that transfer the live and dead loads of the deck below, upon which traffic crosses. This arrangement allows the deck to be level or to arc upward for additional clearance. Suspension bridges have a very long span and are often used for, used for cars to travel long distances. The longest suspension bridge is almost 2 kilometers in Japan. This is a major advancement as it provides a way to travel across large rivers. Concrete bridges. In the beginning of the 20th century, concrete bridges arrived on the scene. Since then, it has become the major construction material for bridges as it has the best versatility, design flexibility and above all, natural durability. British engineers had begun using this in the early 19th century, however, its use didn't develop until the 20th century. Expansion of the motorway network demanded large numbers of concrete bridges, a functional and cost-effective solution to society's needs.